Now to music as we shine our spotlight on South African singer Nsaki as she drops a new electro album that captures the agony that trails the massacre of dozens of striking mine workers in the year 2012. 4,000, 4,000 rounds of bullets ready to break black bodies again. Backed by silky synthesizers and down-tempo electronic beats, South African singer Msaki's new album recalls the 2012 massacre of dozens of striking mine workers that she says inspired her to protest against social injustice. Whose hands, whose hands of blood? Whose hands, whose hands of blood? Singing in Azosa mother tongue, Musaki's lilting voice aims to capture the sadness and disappointment felt after the 2012 showdown between police and strikers at the Marikana Platinum Mine. 44 people were killed there in the most violent police crackdown since the end of white minority rule. Her Afro-pop album, Platinum Be Heart Beating, was released at the end of last year. The title is a play on words referring to South Africa's platinum belt, but also to the emotional state of numbness that many felt after witnessing such police brutality. Platinum Heart is a reference to the mineral, platinum, and I changed the ending of the word to add a B, which is, you know, a, a question about the state, the emotional state of being, um, of numbness. And so yeah, I merged those two words, and and I and I think because the first song I wrote was "Blood Guns and Revolutions," which is about Marikana and the Platinum Belt, um, it 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 seemed fitting to just mark that that was the moment that got me creating in this way, and moving towards making what what is some somewhat a protest, an album of protest and love songs. Yeah. But a lot of my songs, the skin and bones of them are, you know, they start with the heart and. Um, I think the thread that I'm trying to notice through my music is even though I'm going to, to things that are painful, I, I like encouraging. I'd like to build on that intentionally, to write songs that even if we're going down, we, we find a way to encourage each other to move forward. Fetch your life, go on, be alive. Ain't nobody living out here. Be someone who's living out here. Fetch your life, go on, be alive. Ain't nobody living out here. Be someone who's living out here. Fetch your life. Go on, be alive. Ain't nobody living out here. Be someone who's living out here. Amongst those killed in the unfortunate Marikana massacre were 34 miners whom police shot dead. For many South Africans, it seemed to dash hopes that the violent repression of protests had been relegated to their ugly apartheid past. If you go to the Fetch Your Life video and just look on the YouTube and you see the comments there, it's blowing my mind how young people have the audacity to change their situation, you know? This is, young, this is like uh, young people with inferior education, with, you know, unequal opportunities, with, like, not a lot to hope for, that are just reaching and trying to do things differently. I've been to all Msaki's concerts because um, her music heals me. Um, every time I listen to it, it's, uh, she's got this angelic voice. It's like, you know, when you want to tap, when, when a lot of us are tired of the city, we go home. Now, when you want to tap into the reality of who you are and how life is and what your genuine self is, you listen to Msaki's music and then it brings that peace to me.
Misaki's songs also feature some household names in South Africa's dance music scene, including DJ Black Coffee, Kabza the Small, and rapper Focalistic. Her voice, the message in her music, um, she could be, you know, singing like a house song. There's always a message, which I really, really appreciate. Um, and just she, also the person that she is, and I love that she speaks from experience, I think. Um, and, you know, she, she's also relatable. Mama's your